Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Mr. Mechanical. This video we're back on the mini catering and in the last video we made the rear uprights, left and right side. In this video we're going to be making the front uprights, which uh, will fix these front wishbones. And uh, these are a little bit more complex than the real uh, uprights because uh, these front uprights not only need to go up and down with the suspension but they also need to steer the front wheels as well so there's a little bit more detail in these parts. So as you can see I've already squared up some aluminium stock. It's the same material I made the rear uprights out of. So it's squared up to the overall dimensions so like the upright for the rear um, I'm going to be drilling some of the holes first while it's easy to reference those holes so these front uprights I've based them off a Ford Cortina front upright um, the geometry basically is what I've based these on um, they won't look like the Cortain uprights just because the Cortain uprights were a cast item so I've simplified the detail a bit but kept the critical dimensions so I'll get that suspension geometry um, as it should be so I'll get these set up in the mill machine we'll drill those holes and then we'll move on to use in that adjustable v-block again to cut some angles on it and then we'll take it from there so in the last video i talked about um, looking into how i was going to make my diff and uh, i got an old angle grinder um, and so in the angle grinder gear box you have these uh, bevel gears um, so what i'm planning on doing is i do need a few more gears to make the diff but this will be the main drive gear um, or the driven gear in the diff and then this will be the drive gear coming from the prop and uh, so that's the idea I'm still working on the design and how that's going to work so stay tuned and uh, see if we can make a diff from some angle grinder gears Okay, so I've got the holes drilled in both of them front uprights now. Um, so I've now got this adjustable V-block set up again. And we're going to do a 4 degree cut on that front edge. Um, and I think to get this back shoulder, I'm going to have to uh, come up with a different setup. Because at the moment it's obstructed by this V-block. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So to get this shoulder cut in on the other side I've actually had to turn it up on its end um, but it'll give us the same angle because I'm using the same V-block setup. So make this cut, I'll do the same off camera for the other side and then we'll move on to the next cuts.
so I actually forgot to make a cut on the previous setup. I need to take some material off all this top face to bring it um, flat in this current setup. Um, it's currently set at 4 degrees, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring it down flat to the height of this back corner here. So I'll make that cut now. So I've now got uh, both both sides machined as mirror images of each other. So now we've just got a bit to recess on this top face um, and that's just to help uh, machining some of the features later on so when I turn it upside down I can break through um, the full depth without hitting the vise so I'm just going to create some relief some clearance on these faces um, so that's the next thing to do and while I've got it set up in that plane with that face horizontal um, I'm also going to drill uh, the holes that will have the stub axle in later and also the holes we're picking up on the brake calipers Okay, so I've now got uh, these parts, I've got that step machined in there and I've got the holes drill, drilled in. There's uh, two 3mm holes for the brake caliper to fix to later on and there's also a 5mm hole there and that'll be tapped M6 and then eventually I'll put a stud in for the um, stud axle, the stub axle for the front wheel, the front hub. So now the next thing to do as you can see on the back I've marked out um, the machining to do now so I'm going to be machining it from this back side um, and this will finish it off really give us the final details so I'm going to get on with that now um, quite complex so I've split this up into different depths of cut so I'm going to start with the deepest first and then that will leave just the smaller bits to clean up
So the front uprights are now complete. As you can see there, um, I've just finished them off again with the uh, multi-tool and a abrasive mop, um, and it's uh, it gives it a really good uh, finish. It just softens some of those machining marks, and uh, it removes the marking out dye ink. So all that's left to do now is to fix these parts to the chassis. So we'll get that done now. Um, the M3 threaded rod arrived and uh, I've cut it to length. I've uh, fitted some of it already to the re uprights that I made in the last video. Um, so I've swapped out them temporary bolts. Um, so the idea is that I'll use this M3 uh, bar and I'll put a nylock nut on each end. I've also received um, a new spanner. I only had sockets that would fit on the M3 nuts. Uh, it's a 5.5 mil spanner that I'm using. So I've now got one of these. I thought I'm going to need this a lot on this project if I'm using small M3 fixings. So I've uh, spent £7 on the smaller spanner I own. Right, let's get these uh, front uprights fitted now. So there's uh, one side fitted, so you can see it can travel up and down and it can steer. Still need to set these up by adjusting the uh, rod connectors in and out to get them um, tracked properly. So there we have it, front uprights are now finished and fitted, as I say I still need to set them up, um, I still need to track them, front and back it needs done, but uh, I'm happy with them. I haven't really decided what's next on this, uh, There's I'm now back to designing parts. Um, I've ordered a Cortina brake caliper, a full size one, so I can strip it down measure it and potentially look at making the brake caliper. Um, I've ordered the wheel bearings front and back so I'll probably be looking at making the hub carriers for the front and back that I'll um, bolt on. There's a stub axle to make here, steering rack, there's uh, plenty to be doing. I just need to decide what I'm going to make next. So thanks for watching, please comment below um, and like the video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see how this project progresses. And uh, it's going to get more complex, I'm sure. We've got an engine to make, a gearbox to make, and a uh, rear diff to make. That's all to come. I think I'll be starting a side series where I'm going to be making a, a really small 1.8 cc engine just to have a practice at making tolerance parts with tolerance fits um, so stay tuned for that but in the meantime thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time